Morning, Donnie Walker here. Got a 272. All ported up here. Transfer's done. Intake, exhaust, base gasket, gas, gasket delete. And I got a muffler drying outside, a dual port muffler for it. I just want to say on these, you know, you, when you do an older saws like this one, you want to make sure you um, go through your fuel system and air vac test the engine. I have put new seals in this just because it didn't have a leak. I did just because of the age of it. I also checked the fuel line. I had it right out of the tank and checked it. And there's no collapsing or, or no holes in it. Uh, I like to put the carburetor and the intake system on the cylinder when I put old 272s together or 61s, 266s, 288s. That way you get everything lined up properly. They're a little hard to get the intake gaskets lined up. Uh, you can do it. I'm not saying you can't. Uh, I have many times, but this is the way I like to do it. Then you know everything's right. And that way you got new gaskets every which way around. So I'm just putting this 272 down on now. I um, got, got my um, my glue I use, Moto Seal. It adds about 2,000 clearance. So just remember that if you're really trying to refine your squish properly get the screws all started a nice even coat of that glue all the way around be careful you don't get the glue in the pulse hole and i'll show you what i mean there these have an in, internal hole pulse hole through your intake block here through the gaskets to your carburetor and there's a little hole on on the cylinder itself eh? so you gotta watch you don't get glue in there Okay. Or you won't have pulse, you won't have the right fuel uh, pumping action, and it won't run right. So yeah, let's get our, uh, got it all lined up. The intake boot here, the rubber seal between the carburetor in there. We'll get our screws ran down now. And obviously I went to the carburetor. I've done videos before of rebuilding carburetors. This is a, a basic um, Tillotson. You know, just a good HS carburetor, probably one of the best carburetors ever built for chainsaws. Um, they also make uh, nice ones for cart engines as well and all sorts of different things. So yeah, if you haven't seen my video on, on carb rebuilding, I can, I can do another one. If, um, I believe if you look back at my old videos, I have them. All right, just rotate, rotate your motor and make sure it's, everything's free. Torque it down, about 150 inch pounds for the first click of your wrist. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's torqued down. Intake's all lined up. Now I'll root on my throttle, my fuel line, put my muffler on, clutch back on, starter on, put that dual port muffler on it, and we'll give it a little run in a little bit. Hope everyone's having a good week. It's Monday today. Hopefully no one has any Monday blues. If you don't, have a coffee, do something funny, relax. Just have a great day. Should be a good week. The weather's pretty decent here. Uh, we've got a long weekend coming up. It's Labor Day. So, uh, yeah, everyone will be out camping again and whatnot for the last part of the year. Then kids go back to school. If you guys got kids, time to go get them some school supplies and get them all ready for their next year so they can get them a good education. So they don't end up in an underground basement, I guess, fixing dirty chainsaws every night. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I had a nice nice weekend. Um, Saturday, I, I worked most of the day. Um, yesterday, I helped my daughter Taylor. Went over and seen Buck and had a nice live feed with him. A nice conversation with him. And then I borrowed a little topping saw from uh, that he, Rip Saw had sent him. A little 2511 Echo. You'll see a video I did yesterday on that. I was over helping my daughter trim some trees that were kind of on her lines coming into her house. Um, nice little saw. If you want those little echoes done, they do a great job. And so does that Char Charles Risco down there in the U.S. as well. I don't like doing those little ones. I can. I just don't have time and they take a long time. So uh, anyways, yeah. It was a good one. Uh, Walker Saw Shop. We have some new t-shirts now. You might have seen on the Facebook site. Um... They're kind of cool. They kind of show me as like the wild scientist welding up a pipe and um, doing some porting, right? Of a hot saw and whatnot. It's kind of a weird, kind of a weird uh, shirt, but it, it's kind of neat. So yeah, back at her this morning. 
Gonna get this 272 done and a few more saws, a 7310 Echo, and whatever, whatever else is in the pile, just one at a time, and I'll get her done. Keep your saw into it, stick your nice rubbing her out. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. You can order one of those new Walker shirts. I'll uh, start wearing one daily here so you guys can see it. It's kind of neat if you're into that. If not, that's okay. Hey, just have a great day then. See you later. Bye now.